Cool, so now head over to Google Docs and we're going to want to create a template. So if you go to docs.google.com, you will see this start a new document panel here and then you'll see a list of your previously created documents. Click on the template gallery and then go down and select um, whatever template you're going to want to use. Um, for this one, we're going to use this letter template here. So we have one, we have a make bed letter template and once you click on your template just change the name so you can remember it. Okay, I've just added this logo in. So now we have like some some info here which we're going to want to dynamically render from our Airtable result. So the way you do this in your Google Docs is by doing it this way. We're going to add some double curly brackets and then we're going to add in here what we're going to want to map across. So remember we have this info here, first name, last name. We're going to want to do first name. Um, the actual thing you put in between the curly brackets doesn't really matter. It's just for your own personal reference. It's the curly brackets themselves that are going to be recognized by Zapier. And they'll recognize it and then create a field for that that you can then use in your Zap. So for this, we're going to have first name and then we're going to have last name and then go through um, and input all the ones you want. So job title, good idea to just match them from your air table. And then again, you might want to change this one as well. So anywhere that this comes in, we can then make Zapier, zap across the information from air table into here. Cool. So now we can go ahead and delete this one. If you want, you can add a little bit of formatting here as well. If you put these in bold. So now we have this, we can now then move on to the next step, which is going to be Zapier and connect these two things together. Mm -hmm.